what's up guys? Today we're going to be doing Take Me As You Please from the story so far. And uh, this is off their brand new album that just came out. It's called Proper Dose. And I just made a quick version of this song in standard tuning. And uh, let's see, there's a couple of cool chord shapes in it. And um, a couple that I haven't practiced in a while. And that's one of the cool things about or one of the reasons why I made this channel is so we can learn to play uh, new techniques but then also just for maintenance of some of our old techniques like an old weird chord maybe you haven't played in a while and this song had a little bit of both new and old stuff in it for me so let's just jump into it all right before we get going make sure to click on that sub blah, blah, I can't talk <laughs> all right before we get going make sure to click on that subscribe button check the links down below and you can grab my best beginner chord chart I also have a video course down in there and an ebook. And then also remember that I teach guitar lessons on Skype. So if you want a little bit of extra help learning the guitar a little bit faster, or if you have a different song you want to learn, or just someone you want to ask questions to, then uh, there's a link below where you can find out more information about that. And let's get into the song. Now I just made this version in standard tuning because people don't watch my videos if I have an alternate tuning. And uh, just to make it easier on people. Maybe you're just starting off playing guitar and you don't feel like detuning or changing the tuning of all your strings. And then just another thing I wanna say real quick is that I'm gonna show how to play the song two different ways. Uh, the first way, I'm gonna take out some of uh, those pull-offs and hammer-ons and we're gonna simplify the strumming a little bit and we're gonna do the play-along parts that way and then at the end, I'll show how we could put in some of those cool chord embellishments and uh, kind of fancy up the guitar part a little bit if we want. Okay, for the first part, we're gonna use a C chord and we're gonna do something cool with the C chord. Now, if you wanted, you could just play a normal C the way you're probably used to playing it, but we're gonna try to put the fifth in the bass. So you're gonna take your third finger, move it up one string, and then put your pinky where your third finger used to be. So we would have three, three, two, zero, one, zero. And that's a really cool sound, and that's something that I forget to, to experiment with a lot of times. It's just called putting the fifth in the bass, and it, it makes the chord sound like thicker and deeper. And we also need some sort of an F chord, or an F major 7 is what I'm going to play. So if we take that chord right there that we had, that, that C with the fifth in the bass, we could write that as C slash G. And I just took these fingers and moved them all down one string each and then we mute the sixth string with either touching it with my thumb or let a third finger touch it. We would have nothing on the sixth string. Three, three, two, one, zero. And that's a really cool chord, the F major seven. And if we want to, to make it sound even better, you don't have to do this, but I'm, I'm going to try to creep my thumb around here and grab that F note my thumb. That's the first fret of, the, of string six. And the way we're going to strum it right now is just going to be down, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. And on that first down strum, I'm going to put more attention to the thicker strings than the rest of them. So just on that first strum. So let's try to keep going with that a little bit. Okay, now we made it to the chorus, and we're going to need an A minor chord. I'm just going to use the most basic A minor. That's uh, nothing on the sixth string. Zero, two, two, one, zero. And if you wanted, you could play any A minor that you want. 
And uh, for the F on this part, I'm going to use a really cool sounding F. And uh, you can do, again, you can play any F that you want. Um, you could play the F chord that we just played in the previous part. But just for fun and because it sounds really nice, I'm going to try to play an F chord like, well, it's actually an F major 9 chord. And uh, we could play that a couple of different ways. I could have my A minor chord pick up my third finger and then have my thumb sneak around here and hold the first fret of string six, but it also needs to, to touch string five and dampen that one too. And if we play all those notes, it's a really neat sounding F. And um, if you don't want to use your thumb, you could just let go and you could just hold the same frets. But uh, for me, it's just easier to pick up the third finger and use my thumb. The frets would be one and then nothing. And then we would have two, zero, one, zero. And I'm just going to use that same C with the fifth in the bass. Alright, so that's both of the parts, so uh, why don't we try to play them a little bit faster. Cool. Now the way that we just played it, that for a lot of people that's going to be fine. Put in some of those little uh, chord embellishments in there. Then I, I'm going to show how I was playing that. The part's going to sound like this. So to play that part, I just take the C chord and I strum down on the thickest couple of strings once. And then I strum down again on the middle few strings, but this time I'm going to hammer my second finger onto the second fret of the third string. So, so far we have down, down, and 
and then I strum those same strings again down up and then I take my second finger and move it back up one string so it's right back to uh, its spot right at home in the chord and I strum down up down up up down so far that whole part on the C chord is And then I switch to the F chord and I start off the exact same way. And remember, if you can, get that note with your thumb, but you don't have to. So we start off, we have down, 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 up. And then I pick up my second finger in my pinky, which leaves the middle two strings open. And I strum down, up, down, up. And then the last little move, I put my second finger on the second fret of string four, and I pick up, and then I pull off to an open string, and then I hit up again on that C note, the third fret of string five. So that last little part is. So the entire part on the F chord was. Good job guys, let me know if you have questions or comments. If you have requests, put them down there in the comments. And um, you can also get a hold of me on social media. If you guys get a quick second, if you could hit like and maybe even share this video, that could really help me out a lot. Also, I'm kind of curious, what did you guys think of that F major nine chord? Did you like how it sounds? Was it awkward to play? Uh, just let me know. And I always feel like I'm kind of forgetting something at the end of these. Um, how about this? If you learn to play this song and you like the song, why don't you call it one of your friends and play the song with them and have fun. All right, guys, that's about all I got. I'm back at this now, though. I am going to be trying to pump out videos a little bit faster. So, uh, you know, if there's a song you want me to do, put them down in the comments and I will just see you guys next time.